Every day for the past seven years, Ivan crossed the border on his way to work from Ciudad Juarez to El Paso, Texas. On January 12th, his daily routine was interrupted when a U.S. Customs agent asked him to open the trunk of his car. Me dice, abrase la chamarra, así como no. En cuanto me la quito, me dice, ponga sus manos atrás y me, me esposa. Up until that point, Ivan wasn't aware of what was in his trunk. Entonces lo que dije yo, eso no es mío. He says he was interrogated for more than 12 hours before he was taken to prison. Ivan insisted the bags weren't his and that he didn't know what was in them. The packages contained more than 100 pounds of marijuana. He was immediately accused of illegal possession of drugs, among other charges, which meant he faced a minimum of 20 years in prison. That same morning, Marisol Perez was on her way to work. Before crossing the bridge, she picked up a co-worker who needed a ride because his car was in the shop for repair. Trae su maleta del gym. Es cuando él me dice, ábreme la cajuela. Pero me dice, oye, vas a salir de viaje. Le dije, no, ¿por qué? Me dice, es que traes una maleta. Le dije, no, yo no traigo ninguna maleta. Curious, before arriving to the international bridge, they opened the trunk and found two large black bags. Están los paquetes rectangulares, entonces pensamos esto es droga. Without considering the consequences of their decision, they approached the Mexican authorities to show them what they had found. Si te pasa por la cabeza el tirarlas, pero como no sabíamos si lo tenían siguiendo, entonces pues dijimos lo correcto es entregarlas a las autoridades. The authorities didn't believe Marisol and she was immediately arrested. Pues ahí es cuando empieza la pesadilla. It was the same nightmare Ivan Diaz was living on the other side of the border. Ivan was assigned a federal public defender in El Paso, and his case landed on Manuela Costa's desk. The attorney interviewed Diaz a few days later. Pasaron menos de 15 minutos cuando mi investigador se voltea a mí, que es el señor Charlie Ortega, y me dice, Manny, este chavo es inocente. By coincidence, the lawyer knew of Marisol Perez's case and was surprised by the similarities. The suitcases were identical, and the packaging of the drugs were exactly the same. On May 26th, Ana Martinez, an elementary school teacher in El Paso, was arrested in Mexico after authorities found more than 100 pounds of marijuana in the trunk of her car. Martinez had heard about the earlier arrests. Miss Ana, as her students call her, had an impeccable resume. She had worked as an English teacher for six years at Fort Bliss Military Base and then at a grade school in El Paso, each time winning Teacher of the Year. Just like Ivan and Marisol, and at least two other cases, she too declared her innocence. She says prison life in Ciudad Juarez has been very hard. ¿Cuáles son los peores momentos que usted ha vivido aquí en la cárcel? Obviamente, la separación, la separación de mi familia. Her husband, Isaac Guanalo, will never forget the first time he visited her in prison. Estábamos llorando amargamente y ella me dijo, me quiero morir. Según los investigadores, las personas que alegaban ser víctimas no habían sido escogidas al azar por los traficantes de droga. Entre otras cosas, tenían en común que todas cruzaban la frontera de Ciudad Juárez hacia El Paso, utilizando la línea express. Y ese privilegio se le puede quitar en cualquier momento que nosotros tengamos una sospecha. En cualquier momento que nosotros decidamos hacer uh, um, inspecciones al azar. Migdalia Chavez, a U.S. Customs Protection and Border Patrol officer, says people that have these permits are not exempt from inspections. Sea tierra, por aire, por lo que sea, se asume la persona responsable por lo que trae, por supuesto. Está bajo su posesión. Federal investigators obtained information about a new method of operation used by drug traffickers. First, they find a car in Mexico that has a fast lane sticker, something easy to do considering that there are 32,000 cars with the permit that cross between El Paso and Ciudad Juarez. At night, someone installs a GPS on the car, and days later they retrieve it to track where the car has been in El Paso. Then, with the car's vehicle identification number, they make a key. Eric Altamirano, a locksmith in Miami, Florida, explains how it's done. The online system gives him a key code that allows him to cut the key. 
El cliente no tiene que traernos el carro ni nada, con el mismo nombre está hecha la llave. Y tiene acceso al vehículo. No puede encenderlo, pero puede abrir la puerta y el maletero. Finally, in the cover of darkness, they use the key to gain access to the car and load the drugs. Later, using an identical key, a second person collects the drugs in the United States. After spending 10 days in jail, Mexican authorities did not charge Marisol and released her in part because she had declared the drugs. Once she was free, she found out about Ivan's case and offered herself as a witness. Una de las cosas que influyó mucho en que el juez tomara esa decisión es que encontraron 14 eh, similitudes entre el caso de ellos con, con el mío. After three hours of deliberation, the jury found him not guilty. However, he no longer lives in Ciudad Juárez because now that he has a criminal record, he says that every time he crosses the border, he's treated like one. La última vez me detuvieron media hora y me revisan completamente todo. For her part, Marisol also had to leave Ciudad Juárez. Sabían toda mi rutina y como yo les entregué la mercancía, tenía miedo que me llegaran a hacer algo a mí o a mi niña. Months before Marisol and Ivan's arrest, the FBI was investigating Jesús Chávez and Carlos Gómez, suspected of placing drugs in cars of innocent drivers. A few hours after our interview with Ana Martinez, the judge ruled in her favor. And two days later, on a Sunday evening, she regained her freedom. Las autoridades que que tomen en cuenta todos estos casos porque no es posible que siendo víctimas nos encontremos presos este, y pagando por algo que no hicimos.